Now, another thing I suggest you get is some type of an appointment book. Okay, now it could be something in your computer, it could be on your cell phone, uh, personal, personal digital assistant, whatever. Just get something that you can actually write down, okay, this is when my homework is due, this is when my next test is. Uh, this is what I kind of like because it's, a, it's called a full weekend edition, so I can actually write down if I have something to do on Sunday. And uh, here's a suggestion, cut out the corner right here for the week. I get like a weekly uh, planner. Some people prefer daily or monthly. I, I like the weekly planner. And again, just cut out the corner. That way, if it's closed, you can just open up and go quickly, say, to the week you're interested in. Uh, I always keep a pen in here, so I, I never have to keep looking for one. So I just make it a habit to always just stick it right, right back in there. So that's a valuable suggestion for you. Again, stay organized. A lot of people have found that when they're doing a lot of erasing, there's these little slivers all over the page, all over your desk. It can get kind of annoying. So actually, this is from one of my students. She suggested to get what's called an artist's eraser. And it's, it's like clay, kind of interesting. And so you can kind of, kind of stretch it out here, and it's self-cleaning. That's the nice thing about it. So, and you can mold it to any shape you like. It's also rather therapeutic, like, oh, I can't believe I have that much homework. Oh, oh I'm sorry. You know, you know what I mean. But you know, just put in a little kind of compact shape, and you can then just you know, erase something, and it leaves almost no little slivers at all. And again, if it gets kind of dirty, you can just reshape it. So any artist supply store has these. So something to help you out. Get a little tip from the tutor here. Another suggestion is just get yourself some kind of desk lamp. Something like this, nothing fancy. This particular model, you can just place it on the table. Uh, others have clamps. The recommended placement of the lamp is slightly behind you, slightly above, and to your left. If you enjoy listening to music, just get yourself you know, headphones and radio or CD player. Find yourself a nice little corner for your desk and just play some relaxing music while you're studying. Some people cannot study with music, and that's fine. Don't, don't do this. Uh, I don't recommend the TV, and here's a big tip. Try to stay as far away from your refrigerator as possible because after about maybe 15, 20 minutes of studying, it'll start calling your name, all right, and lure you to the refrigerator. We don't want that, okay. 